What a life. Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. That's Carter Reed Exner. And it is officially fall, as you can see. He's pretty bundled up. Water temps are starting to cool. The air temps are really starting to cool. It felt like two degrees this morning, it said, when we uh, got up this morning. Right now, it says it's about five, six type of thing. So it is gonna heat up a little bit during the day, but it is officially fall walleye season. I kind of miss most of the summer walleye bite, and I'm okay with that, because fall is honestly my favorite time of the year. Today's mission, cranks. We're gonna start with lead core, possibly do some deep diver stuff after, but we're gonna do the lead core with shallow diver walleye cranks. We have our two combats already picked out. They're ready to go and we'll switch up as needed, but get some lines in the water and uh, start cranking. Okay, good to go. I'd go to like that. Same thing, 155 feet. Oh, this heated tiller handle. Oh, this is amazing. Your hand's gonna Amazing. be on it all day. Oh, love it. Oh, I was on my phone and I just got a fish, Carter. It's not very big. Here, I'll stay up. You already out or what? Yeah. It's, it's a little guy. Yeah. Is that a luncher? That might be a luncher, hey? I think so, where's the board? I think that's a luncher. It's uh, put away right now. But I think he will be. One nothing for the good guy. Oh, I've got another fish. Fish two for the good guy. Looks like a fish car. Yep. Finally, about time. Oh. Good one for you. Oh. Come on, double. Maybe lunch. Oh, I think a double. I didn't see my rod kick. It just looks heavier all of a sudden. I must have a fish. I must have a fish. It looks heavy. That's what we call a double header, Carter Reed. Double header on the cranks. Mine's tiny. So is, so is yours. The question is, who's a smaller? Oh, yours came off, you lucky duck. I'll just put it in neutral for a second here and then we'll let her line out together. You're about a, an inch or two away from being an eater. They are fat right now. Love fall time. Okay, see you little buddy. Almost an eater, but not quite. Our reed pulled ahead. Oh, there's a luncher, I think, eh? Oh, that back hook is dangerous. So then why they go to the steep stuff in fall, because bait or what? Bait, yeah, to eat. But again, they're not like they're that long either. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little bit better one right there. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. No. No, just had a loose drag. Drag was just a little too loose. No, oh, makes it more interesting this way. This color's turning on though. Maybe I need a new color. You're gonna be switching. I should actually check for weeds on mine right now. And then we can restart right here. Oh, see ya. That's a phone fish. On the phone fish. The bad thing about the trolling, phone fish. I had a dream you lost your phone in the lake. Just so you know, so don't make it come to a lot of realization. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. Here, I'll grab him for you. That's definitely better. Should be netting him, but we're not going to. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Carter's on the board a little bit better one right there, like a 21, 22 inch or something like that. We've been getting quite a few fish, nothing uh, insane big yet. It's just that uh, one's the biggest. I think, I think we got a couple 16s and 117. We got a couple fish in the live well already for 
supper and yeah um depth right now has been between between tw or 22 to 30 feet in right in between there and you're running what 155 feet mm -hmm. lead core i've been running about 150 he's definitely out fishing me right now in terms of numbers and size what's new <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah let me try a different color at some point here too Oh, fish for Clayton. Oh, 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 better. Oh, 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 yeah. That one's going to be a little bit better, I'd say. It hit better anyway. I think my drag was fairly loose. It definitely doesn't feel that big now. Get a double, Carter. Get a double. I love when the drag goes off in the rod holder, the clicker. Carter catches the good ones, and I catch these ones. Yeah, could you take that 30 inch in the way in? You could, but you're almost, it's almost even harder on your 28 pounding it down the lake and back. Fish? Yep. Whoa. Yeah, this is better. That a boy. Nice. Nice. I'll reel up mine then. It's like, it's staying down like crazy. Like, look at the angle compared to the, some of the other ones. This one's staying way down. 35. Okay. We're gonna be pulling out the net. Yeah, your gold rent right here. Be big. It feels big. It's head shaped. It's nice, know. yeah, it's nice. It's not giant, but it's nice. It's not giant, but it is nice. Hook funny, right? Hook funny, but it's still a good fish. Nice, 22 and a half, a boy. See ya. Oh, oh. Yep, still there. Uh, that one sure hit a lot harder. Hooked funny. You're gonna find that a lot with these cranks. Smaller fish are gonna seem big, because as you can tell, that fish can't get that bait in his mouth. Barbless hooks come out so nice. See ya, this time of year those fish are starting to feed heavy. So you can see right now we're in 23 feet and all I'm doing here is myself and Carter, mostly Carter, has made a map here of this lake over the last year and a half. And we're just kind of going between a 30 and 20 foot contour. And 25 feet for me has been the magic number and for Carter, probably around that same thing. Got a bad sun right there, but I got 150 feet out of lead core there with a shallow diver, uh, a shallow walleye it's called by Bandit. And I'll, I'll show more of those cranks and stuff here in a little bit and what I'm using, knots and all that stuff. But that's kind of the, the ticket is just kind of work that contour. Eventually you'll find a depth that's like better than any, any of the other depths and you'll stay within there. And it's all about figuring out a program and it changes day to day too. So. A lot of times you'll have to dial it in that specific day. If you go out two days in a row, it'll usually be pretty close to the same thing as the day before, but it could change a little bit. And if you're if you're in if you're if you take like a couple weeks before you get out, you'll have bigger changes. So it's all about dialing it in, getting dialed on the juice. Fish the juice. Oh, oh, fish. Better. Fish, fish, fish. Hard to tell. Don't know what I have for like drag. Hard to tell. That's a nice fish right there. He came in with his mouth open because he got the hook straight across. Should be netting a fish like this, but that's okay. If it comes off, we're not really too worried at all. 21, 22. It's got his mouth open funny because my hand. There we go. You can close your mouth now. I'd say 21. See ya. Oh, oh. there's a fish. That is a fish. That is a fish. Big long rods are nice for this. Is that a potential launcher? Maybe, but I think it's a little small, yeah. And that's a little small, yeah. Fish? Small? Oh, 
there's some weight. Is there? 21 incher. See ya. Okay, so Carter just caught another 21 incher. He's gonna get us set up here again. I'm gonna kind of explain what we're using here a little bit. This is a big line counter reel. This is a 500 Dakota line counter. You need a little bit bigger spool to house that, that um, lead core line. I'm using Suffix 832 lead core. I believe this one is 18 pound. I'll flash a little photo right here somewhere of the picture of it. Been running it for mm, two years now. It's been really good. Or sorry, this is year two of it. I have on here, I have a 14 pound Suffix uh, advanced fluorocarbon leader and then what I'm doing is attaching this lead core right here I'm using uh, about 25 30 feet of uh, fluoro and then I'm attaching it with come on where are you right there this is called an FG knot right there slides through your guide really really nice so that way you can run lots of uh, or a longer fluorocarbon leader and it'll slide through your guides without having to get caught up on the the ends all the time I'm running, like I said, 25, 25, 30 feet of that. And then today we're running about 150 feet back. Kind of switching it up for your depths. Everything's going to run a little bit different in terms of your bit, your baits and stuff too. I'm just switching now to a different color of Bandit Walleye Shallow. These are the baits so far we've used this morning. I did good to start with on this one or Decent, that color. And then Carter was using that one. He just switched. And I was also catching some fish on that one as well. A little bit of a cluster here just because I had them all in a pile. But we're trying a bunch of different colors right now to see what, what is good out here and what isn't good. It's fun to play with a bunch of different colors instead of always use the same thing. Of course, there's a tournament, you're gonna use the color that you're scoring on the most. But right now we're in a test phase today of how many, how many different colors we can catch some fish on. Oh, and I should mention these cranks LureNet.com. If you're in the States, use code Clayton15. And if you're in Canada, get them from Pokey's Tackle Shop. Walleye Shallow. The walleye deeps are also really good too. Bandits, baby. Oh, that's a fish. Small one, but that's a fish. Time for a double, maybe. Just hardly. Geez, we haven't really like lost any, have we? Go, oh, geez. I just got my line back out there. This is easy. This one's bigger than the last one, but still, or maybe a live wild fish. New color. Works. Live well or too big. Uh, too big. Too big for live well. Barbless hooks, so nice for trolling. 19 and a half on the new color. Oh, that's a fish. A little guy. Check for weeds, eh? Yeah. Uh. Not, not crazy small, actually. Unless it's hooked funny. I do, I do have weeds, Carter, see? You do. And I also have an eater. That's an eater. This stretch should be good too. Okay. Yeah. Little guy. I'm gonna check mine for weeds too. Not so little. Oh, head camera's dying too. It's a decent one, it's like 20. Right there, about a 20 incher. Oh, 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 oh. Sure, take over. I'm here. hoping for a shore luncher here. Need a doubler. A doubler. Need a doubler. It's hard to really film the whole cranking thing because it's kind of boring to show the parts of reeling the fish in. Unless they're big and we haven't caught any big ones yet. It's a good one for you. <laughs> Those are my jokes, <laughs> Carter. <laughs> Dry spell over. Better one, maybe, eh? Ooh, a little luncher. A <laughs> luncher, Carter. I don't think so. No? Too small for a luncher, maybe? Just hooked on the top. Arc Lab just sent me this new cool tool holder that goes on the side of the boat there. They have one for 
every different type of mounting system out there for Lunds, Alumacraft, etc. But this is money. So far I've noticed the pliers always readily available. I haven't got anything else in there yet just because I just got it. Oh, oh. You can take that over. It's a little guy. And the lake is starting to get angry. But we're pulling her out. Angry lake. So yeah, that will uh, wrap up this little video. Obviously nothing too crazy, nothing too big. I think a 22 incher was our biggest. A little bit of cranking tips, not not many. Dial it in every time you go out, it's gonna change. Mess around with different types of cranks, different styles of cranks, all that fun stuff. I'm a huge uh, fan of the Bandits, the Shallow, the Walleye Shallow and the Walleye Deep. Both are really good. They have another one I haven't tried yet much either, uh, a Walleye Deep suspending one. So we're gonna play around with that in the future as well. Got a couple fish in the live all for some fish tacos and yeah, I guess that's it. Let's see if Carter has anything to add. Carter, anything to add for the day? How's your day? It was good. Short one. Yeah. Carter's got a big golf tournament coming up tomorrow, so he wants to go swing, swing the club a little bit, hit some balls, and uh, yeah. It's in fishing mode. In fishing mode. Carter's rocking the new CSO hat. Oh. That'll uh, yeah. be available soon. So yeah, I don't know where his mic is right now. So who knows how his audio is. Oh, it's right there. We're good. Anyways, so thank you as always. And don't forget, get outside.